Welcome back to another episode of BNN. My name is Dave Horta and today I'll be bringing you this week's news. The prom ticket sale began this week, but don't worry Bulldogs. If you didn't get a chance to purchase your tickets this week, the last day will be March 30th, so get your tickets as soon as possible. Congratulations to our prom court. For princesses, we have Summer Moffat, Yara Gawi, Genevieve Nokan, Ashley Heidel, and Alyssa Castillo. For princes, we have Seth Acuna, Jason Mendoza, Anthony Luna, Said Ariano, and our very own Marcus Catalan. We would like to congratulate Daniel Barrientos and our very own Jacob and Franco for their college football signings. Jacob and Franco will be attending Ottawa University and Daniel Barrientos will attend Fort Lauderdale University. Thank you for making West Covina High School proud. Yesterday, we had our famous 1609 event. Thank you to all the clubs and classes that participated to make this event such an amazing success. We hope to see our future class of 2026 join us for an amazing adventure. Do you ever wonder how all of our amazing events are put together? All the work behind the beauty? Well, we have Kayla Magana who was able to sit down with Jasmine Luong to explain to us how West Coachella was all put together. Hey Bulldogs, Renaissance is holding their annual West Coachella today, March 18th from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. We had the chance to talk to Jasmine Luong on the event. Let's take a look at what she had to say. My name is Jasmine Luong and I am one of the chairs for West Coachella and currently the secretary for Renaissance. West Coachella is basically Coachella but for West Coachella High School. We have arts, music, festivals, and we have um, a lot of just performers showing their show, um, talent at West, Co West Coachella. There's gonna be different districts for each individual thing. We all been auditioning people to let them know, okay, here's your talent. Let us see what you can showcase. I'm more excited for the art showcase as that's part of, that's part of what my committee is also doing and we've been working really hard for that. So at West Coachella, we have karaoke, Henna stations. We're gonna have Nintendo Switch play. We're also gonna have bracelet making where we all know raves happen, right? <laughs> but there's also a bracelet change where you can make a bracelet for yourself and exchange it to someone else. Get you a place to like meet someone new or even just like create someone create something for someone else. It doesn't it's not it's not just regular performances, it's anyone. It's we don't, we don't cut anyone at all. It's basically showing West Covina's talent, West Covina's idea of how they want to be um, spirited at the school. Thank you, Kayla, for the amazing interview and also Renaissance for being able to put on such an amazing event for Bulldog Country. Make sure not to miss this exciting event, which starts today at 5 p.m. to 9 p.m., located at the T Plaza. Tickets will be sold at the door for $10 if you did not get a chance to buy them prior to the event. Can't wait to see you there. When you think of track and field, do you think of solely running? Well, there's more to that. And one of those events is pole vaulting. We have Emily De La Torre, who was able to feature pole vaulter Seth Reyes on his special talent. My dad kind of introduced it to me. Um, he used to do it in high school. He showed me some videos of um, pole vaulting. I thought it looked pretty cool, so I wanted to try it out because not everyone's going to be doing pole vaulting. Most of the people do sprints or like long jump, distance, stuff like that. So I just wanted to try something new. Overall, it made me more determined to do stuff and get better. Like in all the other sports, I really wasn't too determined to get better. But uh, with Coach Frank pushing me, it really made me a better person. To keep on trying, trust the process because this isn't a sport that everyone's going to get down like right away. Like last year, I wasn't jumping too well, but I'm doing better now. Some of the struggles were just getting the right movements down because it's a very, um, you have to be very coordinated with all your stuff. So running, you can't run too slow. Most of the time you have to run super fast. You have to have really good timing with your hands. So that's really hard to get down. Um, most of the stuff, it's all when you're in the air, you have to drop your shoulders back, close a gap in between the pole and um, your stomach. And it's pretty much really all the hard stuff. And so over the summer, I did cross country with our cross country team. And pretty much from there, I ran with them, stayed in shape. And that helped me over here because when I got back onto the pit, I was in shape. I wasn't out of shape from not running or practicing for a whole year. So that's how it really helped me. Obviously, it's going to be super hard to get down the first time. But like I said, you just got to trust the process. It gets better from there. Thank you, Emily. We wish Seth and the rest of the track team an amazing season ahead of them. Well, that's all we have for today, Bulldogs. We appreciate you guys tuning in, and if you want to rewatch this episode or any previous episode, make sure to follow our Instagram at WCHS underscore digital media. This was Dave Horta with BNN, signing off. Have a great weekend, Bulldogs.